Oh, it's been a tough week. Probably my toughest week as an eBay seller over the last year and a half. I received a notification last Tuesday saying that I had breached an eBay Vero violation and my store was on a three-day suspension and I pretty much couldn't do anything about it. So in today's video, I wanna share my experience of going through my first ever Vero, talk to you about some of the things that I did during the three-day suspension and some of the things that I've gone ahead and done post as well to get my store back on track the quickest. So hopefully it's gonna help you guys out there if you're experiencing a Vero for the very first time and if you're yet to get one, Maybe this is some good background information to prevent you from getting one down the line. So let's get into it. What exactly is a Vero? Basically, Vero refers to verified rights owner. And what that means is there's certain companies that have joined the Vero program on eBay and they're trying to protect their intellectual property. So their copyrights, their trademarks, they've got certain stipulations in place for their own specific brand that they put to eBay. And then from there, if you are spotted as to breach any of those violations, then they're gonna report that into eBay. eBay is gonna get in touch with you. So it's best, rather than me going through everything today, to just go and check out in the description below the Vero list and then click on the specific company and have a look at their stipulations with regards to their Vero policy. So I was done for basically a parallel import policy breach with the brand Nike. So I had four pairs of shoes and mind you, I've got about 60 pairs of shoes that are Nike branded in my eBay store, but four of them were pulled out by Nike because I was trying to send them to the European Union. So I was sending them off to Europe basically if they were to be sold internationally. And for those four specific pairs of shoes, they've never been sold in the European Union before. So it was actually in breach of their parallel import policy whereby they have personally never sold the shoes into Europe. So therefore I'm not allowed to do that. That was my experience. It was them saying, Matt, you're not allowed to do that. We've had to put you on a three day suspension and we actually can't do anything about it. Very, very, really important information because the process from here, if you do have another violation down the line, whether it be with Nike or whether it be with any other brand, you then fall into a seven day suspension. And if you have another one from there, there is uh, opportunities down the line to completely lose your eBay store. So you really wanna know about this stuff and you wanna make sure that you're checking the information with regards to what Vero is, but ultimately, they're trying to protect their international, uh, their intellectual property rights, uh, their copyrights, their trademarks, and every single brand is different, which is why it makes it so confusing to get your head around. So there are a few things that I did to deal with it, um, I guess, during the three-day suspension. I obviously called customer service on eBay. They told me, as I mentioned, to speak to Nike. That was always gonna to take too long to organize. So I asked them a few more questions. I said, well, if I can't list items onto the store, what, what can I do? What, what is available to me? And look, my impressions, my page views, and ultimately my sales for brand new customers was gonna be removed for those three days, but I could still draft up listings for my store for when the suspension was lifted. So I still went ahead and I, I listed up or drafted Drafted up 10 items a day, so I had 30 listings ready to go when my suspension was lifted. And I also removed the four items that I was done for as well. I made sure they were deleted straight away off my platform. Uh, and I also made sure that I removed the Nike European Union option for any of my items that were Nike branded. So basically I wasn't gonna be posting anything to Europe if it was a Nike brand. And I think I had about 65 Nike items in my store. So that was the first step um, because I didn't want to get done again. And I also made sure that the European Union was actually removed for all 1300 listings in my store. That one was more so a little bit based out of fear for not wanting that same violation for any other brand. But I don't think it was one that was absolutely necessary. So um, that was a couple of things that I did to try and get myself back on track. And then the other one as well is I went out thrifting because a bit of retail therapy is always gonna help. I absolutely love going out to the thrift and finding items. So I went out and did that because I couldn't really tinker with eBay too heavily over the next few days. And I found some great items, so that made me feel a little bit better. But ultimately, when you've got the suspension, there's nothing you can do about it. You do just need to wait it out, but you can draft up a stack of listings and also maybe just tinker with your store, do a few things that you might have not had time to do when your store was active, and also shoot off any offers that do come in because while the new customers don't get access, anyone that's still got a watch on any of your items can still speak to you, can still make a sale. So we'll have a look into the analytics now and I'll show you basically what effect it had on my impressions, page views, and ultimately my sales. So if we have a look at the 30 day table for my impressions, you'll see the three day suspension period listed there. And the first day I actually didn't have too much of an impact. 
I was still able to get about 200 odd thousand impressions. And then it really did fall away by about 40 to 45% for days two and three. So that was actually really surprising. It took a little bit of a while for eBay to kick in the fact that I wasn't able to have my listings shown. So um, they were still certainly there for the first day, day two and three, there was definitely an impact. That obviously had an impact on my page views. Uh, my page views did drop slightly on that very first day, just going under a thousand page views that I would normally get. Uh, I'd normally average around about 1200, as you can see there by the left-hand side of the graph. And then days two and three was really quite heavily impacted down to about 400 to 350 uh, page views. And that ultimately has an effect on your sales. You, you need impressions, you need page views to get your sales coming in. And as you can see by the sales graph there, day one, I was still able to do over $250 in sales, which is quite good. And, uh, and then days two and three, I was more so heavily impacted there, doing about half what I would normally do, sitting around about $130 in sales. Now, I think over the three days, if you add it all up, I had about $550 in sales volume. And normally over a three day period, I'd do about $1,000. So um, I'd say my, my true sales impact was about half of what I would normally get. Um, granted though, this is Q4, December, I should be doing a little bit more than average. So I should be doing about 1200 in sales and I was only able to get about 500. So it wasn't a, a, a complete you know, evaporation of absolutely everything, but um, it was certainly really heavily impacted by about 50%. But regardless, it was really tough to kind of just sit back, hands off, know that really there might be a long tail effect because while the algorithm might be ticking over to a lesser degree, you're not adding new items into your store. And I'm a consistent lister on eBay. That's truly the success of the platform is making sure that you're listing every day. And without, without three days of being able to do that, I thought there might be a long tail effect. And that's what I want to talk about now. I knew that I would need to really kick things into gear to get my store back up and running as quickly as it could possibly be once the, the uh, suspension was lifted. So um, I, I ran a 24 hour 10% off store wide sale the minute I had my listings back. So that was a huge one. I basically wanted to reduce the price, make it enticing for anybody to purchase one of my items and literally do 10% off everything. So that was the first thing that I activated. Um, I sent off uh, to eligible buyers a 5% offer. The minute somebody watched one of my items, I was like a hawk. The minute something would come in, 5% I was sending an offer off to them to try and entice that person to purchase. Um, I accepted all reasonable offers that came in. If it, even if it was 10% off or 15% off what was already a 10% off store-wide sale, I was just accepting it. I just wanted money to start coming back in and to get my store ticking back over. So always accepting offers within those first three days back. Um, I continued to list my 10 items a day. So I didn't, I didn't excessively go over my normal listing schedule. I'm always 10 items a day. So I got back on track with that and I listed up 10 items every single day for the first three days. Uh, I also increased my promoted listings as well to 3%. Now, my personal process with when it comes to promoted listings is I'm always 2% on every single item. I bumped that up to 3% just to get a few more impressions going out. And I think that did have an impact. Um, and I also changed my shipping from uh, one day handling to same day business handling. So eBay always you know, enjoys the fact that you're able to go and uh, ship your items out really quickly. So by doing a same day handling process, I thought that would help increase my impressions as well. So let's have a look at the impressions uh, tab for the four days post the three day suspension. So as you can see, the impressions definitely lifted that first day back from suspension. It wasn't quite to the normal numbers that it used to be, but it was certainly better off than what it was during the suspension period. And then every single day, it's just got slowly, slowly better. Um, this was obviously putting in all those things that I, I spoke about uh, into practice the second I could. Um, page views as well, that went back up to over a thousand on the very first day back from suspension. A massive increase, as you can see there from the three days that I had off. And every single day, it pretty much got better and better as well as as the days went on. And then my sales volume, all those all those little little things that I did, the 10% off store-wide sale, the promoted listings, uh, everything that I mentioned before, I got over um, about $350 worth of sales, which was basically the average. I got that on my very first day back from suspension. So that long tail effect, I was able to put those things in place to really kick it back into gear in a really quick space of time. It did fall away though, for days two and three post suspension, but then I've had a pretty good day for my fourth day back since. So I would almost say that within four days, it seems to have equaled back out and I'm now pretty much back on track. My impressions have really boosted up um, since the four days post and I, I think it only took a few days to get back into gear. So overall, I would probably say Vero probably impacts you for about a week. 
Um, you obviously got three days worth of suspension and then about four days post where things are trying to work itself back out again. But there are certainly things that you can do to help it get back there quicker so you're not taking a week and a half to two weeks to get back to where you were prior. So um, I'm, I'm kind of content now where it's all at. I've had the week that was. Uh, it was a really tough week. I, I definitely say my, uh, my mindset was very um, deflated. Um, I was very, I guess, unhappy and, and, and really not motivated at all to do anything, but I knew that I had to, um, or else it was even gonna be you know, worse from there on. So um, hopefully it's helped you. I, I wanted to put out this video straight away to try and give some insight into what you can do and, and, and fingers crossed that information can be helpful for you. If it was, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you in the next video.